I'm Jim Falstick from Highmore, South Dakota. My wife Carol and I and our daughter and son-in-law Jackie and Adam Roth and their family own Daybreak Ranch. We're a, we're a cattle operation. Uh, we have a cow-calf operation and um, when we first got in business we uh, our priorities were uh, production of the livestock and we soon learned that shouldn't be where our top priority is. Uh, we switch to natural resources. If there's a huge area that's extremely dry, uh, as it was in 2017 with uh, uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, and Montana having uh, such a huge area that was so dry, it was obvious that a number of cattle were going to be going to market and driving that price down. I'm Jamie White. I'm the executive officer with the Farm Service Agency in South Dakota. So we're a division of the United States Department of Agriculture. The Livestock Forage Program was introduced by the 2014 Farm Bill in applicability and it's an immediate disaster assistance program to eligible livestock producers who are in need of feed assistance due to drought conditions. The Livestock Forage Program relies on the drought designations that are publicized on the U.S. Drought Monitor. Specifically, it's looking for a D2 drought designation for eight consecutive weeks, a D3 or D4 drought designation for one individual day. And what it's looking at is where those drought designations are triggered, and the Drought Monitor then overlays the county boundary on the drought designation and then livestock forage program eligibility would be triggered for that specific physical location county. And once any portion of the county enters that drought designation for the required amount of time, livestock forage program eligibility is triggered for producers throughout the physical location county. The U.S. Drought Monitor is a drought monitoring product that integrates a number of drought indices across the nation throughout time to give you a snapshot of drought conditions. USDM expresses the magnitude, the severity, the um, spatial extent of drought across the U.S. It is a product that's created collaboratively between several U.S. government agencies, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, and the National Drought Mitigation Center. And DMC. It's produced every week. It is released on Thursday mornings. It shows the drought conditions as of Tuesday morning. Drought monitoring in the USS is very interesting history. For a large part of the 20th century, there are a number of tools that were used for drought monitoring which really didn't tell the whole picture. It wasn't until the 1960s when Wayne Palmer developed his index that really integrated everything and became a universally applicable index for the whole country. The Palmer Drought Index, for the first time, integrated water supply and water demand and soil moisture into one number. And at the time, it was, it was heralded as the best improvement for drought monitoring that has ever come along. But as the century came to a close, a number of other drought indices were developed, a number of other tools were developed, so that suddenly we had this variety of information that was being used for understanding drought. So in the late 90s, a number of people came together and decided, well, let's come up with a way of integrating the Palmer Index and these other indices and other tools into one map and one product that will show you what the drought conditions are based upon a convergence of evidence, how all of these tools are converging to a specific value. And that's how we came up with the Drought Monitor. I look at the Drought Monitor regularly, um, especially during the growing season, but even other times of the year, it's, it's very important to see where where things are, not only in our immediate area, but uh, nationwide. Uh, obviously, if there's a major drought going on in Texas or California, it can hugely affect uh, the cycles we're going through as far as marketing of our, our livestock. 
The use of the U.S. Drought Monitor with the LFP program has been very beneficial for administrative purposes with the Department of Agriculture and specifically the Farm Service Agency, as well as the participant because of timeliness. It allows FSA to take applications in real time, it allows us to process applications in real time, and feed loss assistance or that supplemental feed assistance could be provided within 30 days of experiencing that disaster condition. So that provides necessary resources to the livestock producer in real time to purchase additional feed as needed. Knowing what was going on because of the drought monitor, uh, we were able to go through the 2017 drought and it be a positive thing instead of a negative event, uh, both economically and, and probably more importantly as far as being able to manage our grasslands and uh, take care of the natural resources and the landscape, which is so important as far as being in business next year. And so this isn't just about 2017, it's about the, the future years and being able to still be in business and withstand not only the market effects, but what happens on the landscape and production.